गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई एम रेखा कुमारी योर साइंस टीचर फ्रॉम यू एस डी पब्लिक स्कूल महाराजगंज नाउ इट इज फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ योर साइंस एंड यू आर एक्वेंटेड विथ द साइंस सब्जेक्ट एट फर्स्ट यू नो दैट वॉट इज साइंस साइंस इज ए सब्जेक्ट यू आर नोइंग एंड साइंस डील्स अबाउट एनी थिंग इन वास्ट नॉलेज इट गिव्स ए वास्ट नॉलेज अबाउट एनी थिंग साइंस गिव्स अस ए वास्ट एंड ट्रू नॉलेज वास्ट नॉलेज विथ ट्रूथ मीन्स इट गिव्स ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ नॉलेज अबाउट एनी थिंग एंड दैट इज ट्रू नॉलेज This knowledge is based on experiment, verification, and observation. Now you know what is science. Science is a subject which gives us a vast and true knowledge about anything. Now your topic is my body. My body. You are seeing your body. Our body is like a machine. You are seeing a machine. Machine is made up of many parts. As like our body is made up of many parts, that is external parts, head, neck, arms, legs. It is say and internal parts also heart, lungs, stomach, intestine, liver, pancreas. It is say. Now internal parts are the organs. Organ. What is organ? Organ is a, a special structure which performs a, a special function. Now organ is a, a special structure present inside our body which performs a special function, and many organs combine together. to form a system and that system is responsible for a particular function as for example our nose wind pipe lungs diaphragm it is the organs combined together to form a system called breathing system and it is especially responsible for doing breathing now we have to read about the breathing system at first you come on breathing system this is the picture of breathing system now what is breathing at first you know that what is breathing taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide is called breathing breathing what is breathing breathing is a process in which we take oxygen and give out carbon dioxide have you understood that breathing now breathing system the system contains organs nose wind pipe lungs alveoli diaphragm it is the are the organs nose and there are two nostrils two nostrils and wind pipe lungs alveoli and diaphragm are the organs which combine together to form a system and this system is responsible for doing breathing at first oxygen enters through the nose and then it goes into wind pipe then it goes into balloon like structure lungs here inside the lungs there are many air sacs air sacs that is called alveoli and it is surrounded with blood vessels now oxygen goes into air sacs where blood vessels take oxygen and give out carbon dioxide then carbon dioxide 
is returned back through the nostrils and thus this process is called breathing and this diaphragm is, diaphragm moves the lungs what is the function of diaphragm you have to know that diaphragm moves the lungs now how is breathing takes place you are knowing that we take oxygen through the nose oxygen goes into our nostrils then it goes into windpipe and then it goes into balloon like structure there are two balloon like structures that are called lungs and oxygen enters into the lungs where there are many air sacs present and air sacs this is the air sacs air sacs is surrounded which is called alveoli and it is surrounded with blood vessels blood vessels take oxygen and give out carbon dioxide then this carbon dioxide is returned back into the windpipe and then it comes through the nose now blood takes carbon uh, oxygen and goes into our different parts of body and gives us energy to the different parts of body and we are able to do any work when our body parts does not get oxygen then we will not able to do any work through the body parts now this is the breathing system breathing system and this is the diaphragm you are knowing diaphragm moves the lungs understand now this is the breathing system that is nose nostrils windpipe lungs alveoli diaphragm combined together to form a system called breathing system which is responsible for breathing and how is breathing taken place you are now know how is breathing taken place and what is the function of our oxygen taking you have known that oxygen goes into different parts of our body and gives the energy to the different parts which makes the different parts able to do work now you have understood what is breathing what is breathing system and what is the function of oxygen taking during breathing now you are knowing that here our lungs it is given in your book that right lungs is larger than our left lungs now left lungs left lungs there is the left lungs and there, there is the right lungs the, in the left side inside the chest there is a heart which pumps the blood it is present in the left side you are seeing here so our left lungs is, is smaller than our right lungs have you understood now write down the question what is organ what is organ second question what is system third question what is breathing have you written what is breathing what is breathing system what is the function of oxygen taken during breathing what is the function of oxygen taken during breathing now last question is what is the function of diaphragm what is the function of diaphragm have it it if you have any problem in the topic to understand you can ask from me in your doubt class that is 9 um, um, on 3rd april from 11:30 to 12:00 
if you have any doubt in your topic you can ask from me at 11:30 to 12:10 on 3rd april understand